Nebraska! The next contestant making it into the finals. Nebraska! I was in the Children's Hospital in Omaha when I was five years old. I don't remember a whole lot of it, but I remember my parents being really scared, and I had never seen my dad scared before. My nurse was amazing, and she really is who I strive to be like. I'm now a certified child life specialist, which is the liaisons between the children and families and the medical team. It's just so empowering, helping the patients understand their diagnosis, understand different procedures, and support them through those as well. Nebraska! Nebraska! Lawn bombshell from the Wheat State. I love that she made the top 15 because her grandfather's assisted living community is hosting a Miss USA viewing party tonight in their bingo room. I was drunk. I was drunk. Nebraska! Nebraska! This gown made in yellow. I think that might have been a better choice. The black is dramatic for sure. I'm just a fan of color. Hello, Carolina. <laughs> Tell me about a time when you felt unworthy and how you overcame it. Your question tonight comes from Florida. One in four children in the United States live in a single parent household. How has that affected our generation views on marriage and family? I am so grateful to have grown up in a home with two parents. Hi, parents out there. Um, and so I can't personally relate to this. However, I do work in children's hospitals as a, a certified child life specialist where I'm the liaison between the children and families and the medical team. And I've seen single mothers at the bedside working remotely on their computers to stay by their children and support them. And I think that it just shows the children, no matter if it's a boy or a girl, that they can do that. Nebraska! <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right, you ready? I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your question. You're on your way to a march, and someone hands you a blank sign and a marker. What do you put on your sign, and why? I say, speak your voice. I don't know what march we're on our way to in this hypothetical situation, but no matter where you're going, whatever type of march it is, you're obviously on your way to that march because you care about that cause. So go speak to people when they have questions, communicate with them, listen to their views also. That is one thing in the United States that we really need to focus on, is listening to each other. Thank you, Nebraska. Thank you very much.